to get a listing appointment, there's three different avenues that I see for listing appointments. Okay. There's, there's when you're aggressive, you know, like you're cold calling or, you know, you're door knocking or, you know, you've contacted somebody to say, Hey, do you want to sell your house or whatever? And they said, yes. Okay. And you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to need to come look at it. Da, 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 da. And you set the appointment. So there's, there's the way of setting a listing appointment where you're the aggressor. You're being aggressive, you're contacting, and you set the appointment, okay? Or an expired or for sale by owner. You're calling, you're setting appointments, okay? So there's the way of you being the aggressor. Then the second way is passively, where you're putting a lot of marketing out there and people just call you. Um, people just call you uh, and, you know, maybe it's a referral. Maybe it's, uh, you know, they saw your sign. Or maybe they looked you up on Zillow and liked your reviews, right? Whatever it is, they're, they've contacted you out of the blue. You've never heard of this person. Okay, that's a passive listing appointment that you set. Okay, and the third way to set a listing appointment, and this is where I really win, and this is where most people don't, they have a disconnect here. The third way is somebody who you've met and spoken with and connected with, you stayed in touch with them until the point that they decided they wanted to sell and then they called you. So they called you, but it wasn't out of the blue. You've heard of them before. You've talked to them before. You nurtured that relationship until they decided it was time to buy or sell. That's where all the money's at right there. All the money is the people that you meet that aren't ready, that you nurture until they are ready. Okay. And when you can really crack the code on, the system that works for you best to, to nurture these people to the point of a listing appointment, that's when you're going to win. What I really like to see out of agents is that they understand these three ways to get listing appointments and that they do all three of them. That's what I want you guys to do. I want you to be aggressive. I want you to go get appointments, right? And, and, and just so you guys know, I don't base my business on appointments. I'm just using the appointment word because we're talking about listing appointments. Okay. When somebody says, yes, I'm ready to sell. But my uh, my objective is not to set an appointment when I'm calling. Um, unless it's a for sale by, you know, for sale by owners are different. They're ready to sell and set the appointment or maybe expired certain situations. It just depends. Um, but I don't base my, I don't, I don't judge my business on appointments. I judge my business based on my communication skills. To, to connect with people and my work ethic of how many people I'm going to talk to, right? How many people am I willing to talk to on a daily basis? And then how those, how many people do I actually connect with? That's what I'm going to judge my business on. And from there, what system do I have in place to stay relevant with the people I connect with forever? That's the key. So I want you to, I want you to understand these three ways to get listings, to, to get listing appointments. If that's what you want to call it, listing meetings, meeting with sellers to talk about selling their property aggressively going after people trying to create relationships find out what you can do to help them passively where where you put so much good karma into the the universe people know who you are people like you they see your stuff around they see you online they just call you out of the blue and the third one is nurturing where you've met somebody that wasn't ready you nurtured them into the listing appointment